U.S. soldiers were given a lesson by seven-year reigning national champions of Naginata. Um, today's demonstration by our counterparts was a women's self-defense class. They uh, demonstrated how to use a long sword for protection. Cultural exchange events like these provide more than just a fun learning environment for some soldiers. I would say it's just as important when, you know, back at home we go through basic training with one another. We get to know each other. It gives us a reason to want to defend the people we're fighting with. Traditionally, Naginata was a battle weapon used in ancient Japan and consisted of a pole with a curved sword at the end. Although anyone can practice the martial art, throughout history it's more commonly practiced by women as a form of self-defense. But one distinguished visitor at Yamasakura has the nation's defense in mind. We're here at the Current Operations Intelligence Center of Yamasakura 71, where Japan's Minister of Defense, the Honorable Tomo Miyanada, takes a tour. The tour showed Anada and General Toshio Okabe, JGSDF Chief of Ground Staff, how the U.S. and Japanese forces combat virtual threats during a computer simulated exercise. Of course, when you hear computer simulated, you're like, okay. But when you're actually in there um, playing the game, it's different. You know, you feel like a failure if you don't get the job accomplished or the mission done. So it's very intense to be there playing it. This was Anada's first visit to the largest command post exercise conducted bilaterally, which includes about 1,600 U.S. personnel worldwide and 4,600 JGSDF members, and can lead to some communication issues here and there. I would be lying if I said we understand each other all the time, but there is always constant effort to understand one another. But it's that sort of commitment among members from both nations that makes the bond at Yamasakura so strong. I can appreciate the um, extent that our counterparts go to to be able to set up things like this so we can have these cultural exchanges. So, you know, it doesn't feel like we, you know, even though that's what we are here for is the exercise, it's just something more to look forward to, to be able to get to know who we are fighting with. So at every level of Yamasakura, strengthening relationships and the importance of defense is well understood. Reporting from Camp Kangoon, I'm Petty Officer Anthony Martinez.